What's going on, bikers? For the next mod to my 2018 Triumph Thrux in R, aka Ronda, I'm going to be swapping out the stock levers here, both on the brake side and the clutch side, with these really cool machined black ones that I picked up from TEC Bike Parts USA. And you guys can see that these are fully adjustable to extend the length, to change the grip positioning. Um, they are lightweight aluminum and I think are going to look pretty slick. Grab the right side. That These will look pretty slick once they're put in place to kind of go with that stealthy uh, black accessory look that I'm going with on the bike. Um, these should be basic plug and play uh, put together. Um, shouldn't be anything complicated, but I'm going to show you guys how to, how to do it here uh, to kind of improve the look a little bit. Um, now, this one on this side is adjustable, but it's got this weird adjuster knob here that allows you to adjust it up and down um, that will further extend this out or bring it in. But I think having this machined look uh, with these black ones will look pretty slick at the end of the day. Oh, and by the way, these are actually the long ones, not the shorties. Um, I find it a little bit better uh, for my grip anyway to be able to use regular length. You can see they're just about as long uh, once in place uh, as the stock ones, maybe, mm, maybe a quarter inch half an inch in total length shorter, but plenty of space there to be able to grab on. So let's get started by removing the old levers and then we'll pop these new guys in place. All right, so the first one, you just need your hex key for the top here and your 10 mil for the bottom. And you should be able to loosen that right up and pull the pin out. All right, and finally, we should be able to just finish this with our fingers and pull the pin out like that. And then the lever comes right out. And what we're gonna have to do is pull out this little plunger uh, from the lever and put this into the new lever and then we can put the new one back in. And the way to get this little plunger out is you actually have to tap this barrel through. And I did that by uh, setting the uh, lever here on a socket. And then I put a screwdriver on the top and just tapped it through. And so now I'm going to grab the uh, actual barrel and just finish pulling it out. Boom. And my uh, plunger fell out, but now I've got access to it. Okay, so now with the new lever, I take the plunger and I slide it into this groove here like that, and that's ready to go in place. And then we'll just take the new lever. And we'll grab our pin, drop that in. All right, so with the pin tightened down and set up, this is all good to go now on this side, and you can see it will adjust like that to go as far out as possible in the sixth position and into here on the one position. And the one uh, is nice because it's not actually even touching the plastic on the throttle housing there, you can see. Um, so the brake side is all set. Now we're gonna move on to the clutch side. So the clutch slide should be pretty easy. We're just gonna take a 10 mil on the one nut that's on the bottom here and loosen that. And then pull the pin out. And then the clutch lever starts to come free, but you have to loosen the clutch cable to be able to pull it all the way out. All right, so to get the lever out, you actually have to unadjust the cable here and you start by rotating this one back and then loosening this one and then you'll be able to actually pull the cable out but before you do that it's always good to measure how much space is actually in between there so you know where to bring it back to when you're putting everything back together and this is looks like it's about five sixteenths so i'm going to remove this so i can get the lever out and then put the new lever in so start just by loosening this one. Once you loosen that, we can then do this. 
All right, so I've got it lined up now so the cable can come out and then you just wanna kind of wiggle the lever out, flip it over and get the little eye part out. And there's the old lever. And putting the new one in is just the reverse. Okay. Drop the pin through. Grab your nut, put it on the back. All right, and then before you tighten everything down, I'm going to readjust the clutch cable so it was back right where it was before. All right, both levers are now installed, and I have to say those do look pretty sweet. A little sportier, a little more stealth with the black. Uh, I love this, you know, billet style look that they have, and then the easy adjust there. Clutch is all set and ready to go. Uh, I think one thing that is kind of interesting about this is I can almost pull this all the way back to the lever now. So I get a good pull on that clutch. Um, I did make sure to set up the adjustment so it was the same as before. And of course, over here on the brake side too, looking good. So we'll call the new black levers all set and ready to rock.